We drove four and a half hours to Mercer, Wisconsin and stayed at a resort. The resort was mainly just a bar and grill and a motel that was off to the side. I didn't plan on filming anything on this trip, but my buddy showed up with an almost brand new snowmobile. I got to ride it and first thoughts were that it seemed decent for someone that wants to get out and enjoy winter. So we did an impromptu review on it. I started getting my phone out to film the scenery on my Google Pixel. I didn't have my GoPro with me, unfortunately, but the Google Pixel seems to do just fine in this situation. The snow covered trees are really a sight and the video doesn't do it justice. Brandon and I traded sleds for a short time. His cousin and uncle were driving short track indies, which was his reason for purchasing one. Brandon's is, however, a 144-inch track and is a 550 fan-cooled. This one was a rental out west for one season and has 5,600 miles on it. To me, this seems solid and everything still looks like new, including the track. I was very surprised in how well it drove, handled, and how smooth it was. I threw it into some corners on the trail and it seemed pretty stable. We took it out on the lake and it seemed to do pretty good there too. It's obviously not gonna be super fast on a lake, but the one lake crossing we did, he was right behind me and I was doing about 70. Whoever put work into this clutch calibration was a genius. It's perfect. It's still carbureted. So this is about as simple and smooth as it can get from an entry level ride. It's not a big powerhouse, but it's also not a time bomb. It doesn't feel cheap for what it is. I think the only thing that it might need is a different front ski. It's really not too far off, and it shares the same suspension as uh, other uh, level up indies. The indie seems to be a, the first attempt at, in a long time at making something trail decent. The tunnel isn't all Swiss cheese. There's no tunnel braces required. It's all one piece and no holes. I am too cheap and too much of a traditional snowmobiler to consider anything in the rider forward position. If I didn't know any better, this Indy would be something I would consider if I didn't already have a sled. I have plenty of fun ripping around on my old sled. It's just nice to be out on the trails. But to be honest, the suspension on this Indy is pretty soft compared to something like mine. If you know a friend that has one of these, definitely worth to try to get a short ride in just to try it out. I hope you got some good information out of this review. There's really not a whole lot on the Polaris 550 out there. Please go ahead and check out some of my other videos that I have posted. If you like this type of information, please subscribe and maybe we'll see you next time.